Hello and welcome to another edition. Hello and welcome to another edition of Mermaid Tears. Today I am going to show you what I do with my sea glass once I bring it home. After I have my tray out, I line it with either wax paper or parchment paper. And this is just to keep my trays nice and clean so that I'm able to reuse them. I also add some paper towel and this is to help absorb any of the excess water that is still left on the sea glass. So the first thing that I do is take out my uh, denture cleaner. Now I just bought this at the dollar store and I try to break it up into at least five pieces. As you can see, this one broke up into a few more than five pieces. So what I'm doing is I am simply placing the denture cream into the bucket. And I'm gonna put a piece in each of the corners. And then I would normally put the other piece just there in the middle. So you can see each of my corners has a piece of the denture cleaner. Once I have the denture cleaner in, I'm going to go ahead and dump my bag or bags of sea glass. So I've added my first part of sea glass and as you can see I've just left my shells and rocks and stuff in there. Sometimes depending on how much I have I do take that. Shells I will often actually boil especially if they are the snail type shell um, just in case something might still be living in there that I didn't see. So because my glass has covered the original denture cleaners that I have put in there I'm going to now just take another denture cleaner and break it in half to put inside. So I filled my bucket enough so that it covers the shells completely with a nice layer of water so there is nothing sticking out on top. And as you can see, the water is fizzing and turning green. And that is the denture work doing its magic and cleaning off any of the grime. So. Now the next step is simply to put the lid on my bubbling grime here and let it sit for a couple of hours. Once my sea glass is done soaking, usually for a couple of hours, if not a day or overnight, I just take the bucket of water and I rinse it out by dumping it ever so slightly into the sink. Once I've rinsed the bucket, I just take a handful and put it over into the strainer here where I will rinse it off a little bit more just to make sure that I've got any of the denture cleaner off of it or any other residue that might still be remaining. Because I don't want to miss any of the shards that I may have gotten, I'm going to take each of my bags and I'm actually going to fill them with water just a little bit. And then I'm going to give it a shake and I'm actually going to dump that bag of water into my bucket as the first bag. And then I'm going to just make sure that everything is out of my bag by turning it inside out. Hopefully I get to a point in my sea glass cleaning where I have kind of this pile that is a mixture of sea glass and sand and whatever else. I used to try and sort that all out um, while it was wet and in there just go through and kind of pick out every little piece of the glass until I realized that it was just a very frustrating exercise. Now I actually take that pile and I dump the whole thing on my tray with a paper towel and I just kind of spread it out a little bit to let it dry. I find that it is so much easier to sort once it is dry. After I've taken it out of the strainer, I bring it over to some aluminum cookie sheet, nice and evenly spaced so that it can dry. And it usually takes a couple of hours for it to dry. Once it's dry, I begin the sorting process, but that will be a video for another day. I hope that you've enjoyed this edition of Mermaid Tears and I look forward to visiting with you again. Have a wonderful day.